When I met Greg, he'd never shot a film in his life. And somehow or another, he didn't just put it on the screen, he exploded it off the screen. And he did things that um, Tarantino does. He, he did things that you're not supposed to do and made it a, an amazing film. I remember seeing it at the movies and being absolutely terrified, but thrilled at the same time. I don't think I'd seen anything quite like it. And it stuck with me long after the credits rolled. It, and, uh, you know, it was just one of those kind of iconic Australian films. Oh, I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. <laughs> because we had so much time on our hands between the two films, we, we started generating all these different storylines and ideas and, you know, where did Mick come from and what happened to him after this point. And I'd been sort of thinking about the idea of expanding into his, you know, universe a long time before the series came about. So I had a pretty solid bunch of different ideas that I wanted to explore storyline-wise. Greg McLean approached us as the producers of Underbelly, saying that he had a couple of novels that were about to be published that explained where the Mick Taylor character from Wolf Creek came from. And we looked at those books and thought, gee, there's no real avenue uh, in television at this point in time for this sort of material. I had been speaking to the guys at Screen Time. We, we sort of been talking for a while about how to get the series together. I think Stan had just kind of come into being then and we went and pitched them the idea and they were immediately excited about the concept. We mentioned two words to Stan, Wolf Creek, and they went, whoa, where? We want it. What is it now, you know? And, um, and off we went. The series is really more of a suspense thriller story because we follow a different character into the Mick Taylor universe. So it's, it's, it's about Mick. Mick is a, um, a big figure in the story in lots of ways that I can't really go into, but it's actually more about the world that he inhabits and the other characters within that world. We find a female character who is, uh, has to become a match or an equal to Mick. It actually becomes a real thriller. It comes from the victim's perspective, so you're following Eve and her survival, and that becomes the story. Where are you headed? I don't know yet. I'm just gonna um, follow my nose. I think that audiences are really going to enjoy that there's a character that Mick tries to destroy who doesn't let him win. Well, I think that Eve uh, decides to pursue Mick for two reasons. One, it is a deep kind of sense of injustice and revenge. But at the same time, though, it does actually fulfill a huge gap in her life because once her family is gone, what fills her entire being is the concept of getting revenge um, for, this, for this heinous crime. So it's very much about her um, you know, transforming as she goes through the journey and actually becoming a different character by the end of it. I want to find whoever murdered your family. And even if the odds aren't great, doesn't mean that I'm going to stop trying. Sullivan comes across Eve um, in the first episode. It's a catch the killer kind of thing. So, you know, it's about Lucy's character and my character really trying to track down Mick Taylor and bring him to justice. It flips the genre on the head. It's not. Uh, straight horror. It's it's a thriller, and it's and it's no, it's about time you know Mick Taylor got caught. <laughs> John's a very big influence on the whole on the two films in the series because he brings so much of himself into the character. Obviously, not the serial killing parts, but the other parts he brings brings into it. John's portrayal of Mick Taylor would become like a poster boy of the, of the Australian industry, but it also announced Greg McLean, you know, as a writer, director, and producer. The combination of um, you know Greg McLean's scripts and. And John Jarrett's performance has made him such an indelible character in Australian cinema folklore. The writing is so exciting and it's so sort of non-stop uh, that I, I think the audience is going to love it. There are enough surprises and twists and turns and unexpected events to keep people entertained, keep them guessing and uh, keep them on the edge of their seat. The thing that the audience is going to enjoy most about the Wolf Creek TV show is probably me, I reckon. Because, um, you know, they just love Mick Taylor. I will find it.